We have to talk about street fighting versus sport fighting and what to do in street and what not to do in street. So hi guys, today we're gonna talk about street fighting and what to do in street and especially what not to do when you come into the situation where you have eventually to fight and to defend yourself. The most obvious thing in street should be you don't want to show your opponent that you're actually capable of doing anything. You should not take up a stance and you should not warn your opponent that you do any kind of martial art or that you are capable of defending yourself. When a guy comes up and he's threatening you and he's come, he's coming closer and now you take up a stance and now he's warned and he's prepared and he can, for example, take a knife out of his pocket or maybe he already has a knife hidden. You don't even know. So what should you actually do? In Jeet Kune Do, what we do is we train to attack from a neutral stance or from natural stance or any kind of position you are finding yourself outside in the street. As simple as this, you should be able to attack from here to kick and to punch from here. You should be able to attack the groin, you should be able to punch, to attack the eyes, or even attack the knees if they are a good target in this situation. So from here, this would be simple as this. You go here, or you go here, or if his leg is uh, more forward, you could go here. So this would be the first step. The second step is when he comes in, you can go here, you could kick him. Or even as he come in, you could go here and attack the eyes. You could use a punch or even a side kick. You could go here and kick with a side kick as he walks towards you. So what you do is you wait to the last moment to attack the guy so he has no time to react to your attack. He's concentrated on his own attack or approaching you and then you counter into his movement. What you can do, you can give him a chance. You back up once and if he continue to come towards you, then you attack. Like this, he comes and you back up, he continues to come and then you can attack. If he can try to punch you, it doesn't really matter. Then you can go here. You can go here, you can go here. You should be able to go backwards and then switch to forward motion into your attack or from neutral stance, as soon as he comes in, you can go here or he comes in, you can go here or he comes in, you can go here to the eyes. So it doesn't really matter. This could be also back fist here, or it could be also be a lead punch. The key is you wait for the last moment. You don't go too early. If you would go too early. So we have a bigger distance. He comes and he comes from here. And now you start to react. Now he has a chance to react. But when you wait until the last moment, he comes then it's really hard for him to react to your attack. This is a difference to sport fighting. So you first have to be able to attack from this kind of positions or from backward movement into the forward movement. Instead, just being able to attack from a stance and from moving around and exchanging punches and kicks. This is something totally different. Also remember, there can be also two attackers or even three. So when one comes in, you attack him and then you have to switch maybe to another attacker or this one or even maybe some behind you. And because most of the time when you have a situation like this, there will be probably multiple opponents. You should use the tactics so you don't waste a lot of time on one guy. Instead of grabbing him and trying to do a joint block or maybe to choke out the guy because this takes naturally a longer time. During this time, other guy can come and he can stab you, he can punch you, he can kick you. So this is not really suitable uh, or advisable to use this kind of tactics in the street. Use effective and efficient attacks that don't cost you a lot of time to take out the guy. So you attack groin, you kick through knees and you attack eyes or punch to the throat at best. Uh, so guys, I hope you liked it and uh, see you next time.